Am I good? You're good. You're good. Yeah. Cool, cool. <clears throat> hey, thanks, bro. Thanks for doing this, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. No, thank you for having me. No, it's an no. Honor. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so let's 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 get right into it. Welcome back to everybody to another episode of Imprecisely. I'm your host, Jordan Vanzuela. I'm joined by my good friend of mine, Rick. He is one of the most freakish athletes I personally know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, dude. Bro, I, I know I know people who like deadlift a thousand pounds or you know stuff like that. I'm so, when, I'm, when I get down to like true athleticism in terms of like body control and just i don't know man your videos <laughs> I, I, see, I see a bunch man but yours are yours are legit so just oh, thanks, man. context thanks. just to put it in context for everybody um you you're a fitness freak but i, I well, what would you call your type of training because it's like it's like to me when i look at it it's kind of like um, a mixture of like gymnastics with plyometrics with calisthenics like what what do you do like explain to people like what is it that you do yeah so like i um well let, let me kind of start from the beginning like before uh when i first started i guess on my my fitness journey uh back in like 2012 i i was totally into the the bodybuilding um mm. bodybuilding type aspect of it and i i did that for a while and then um you know eventually i just i it just kind of got boring to me you know, yeah. I, I don't knock anybody that that's into that, you know, that mm -hmm. that's cool. But to me, it was just, it, you know, I needed something that to stimulate me more mm -hmm. and to catch my attention and to challenge me. So um, around that time, uh, I guess like when Instagram started first popping off, like around 2012, um, I started, I, I came across like a whole bunch of like these athletic guys and um, like these calisthenic type workouts that they did and I was like wow that's like that's super cool you know mm. and that caught my attention and and that's when I kind of started to gravitate more towards the calisthenics and maybe a little bit of gymnastics I, I don't know gymnastics <laughs> but I do follow yeah. a bunch of gymnastics accounts and gymnastics uh, people on Instagram and they definitely inspired me as well as the calisthenics guys so it's a it's a little bit of a mixture of like calisthenics gymnastics mm -hmm. and yeah. It's a lot of um what I noticed with you, like I mean, obviously, like I see you like using kettlebells and dumbbells and plates even and stuff, but I noticed it's a lot of body weight exercises or mm -hmm. like a lot of like creating leverage with your own body. You know what I mean? <clears throat> right, right. Like if you're using if you're using something like a dumbbell or a kettlebell, it's just um to kind of like create a motion or create an angle for something else in your body to go this way or vice versa. <laughs> right right yeah so it's yeah. kind of like a catalyst for me yeah 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 Yeah. so pretty much you just got bored of body <laughs> kind of yeah i mean i, I did it you know the, i did, did you the, the bro did workout you no no like a lot of people told me like hey you should compete man i'm like oh okay maybe it, it kind of got in my head and then i i was thinking about it and i i, I kind of almost did it but then i was mm -hmm. like nah <laughs> I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. That takes a lot of discipline. And me, I love to eat, you know, I agree. and like, man, I, I, don't, I don't know if I could do it. it. You know, like just having that discipline of, of being, you know, on, on your macros and on your meals, just, mm -hmm. man, you, you probably wouldn't want to be around me around that <laughs> time. I would be so grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just to take it back, like, where did your fitness journey begin like were you always into fitness or like did you have to overcome certain health things and it kind of like struck you that way or like you just come from like a sporty family or or were oh, you just no. always like being active throughout life I, no actually no like when i was um actually like when i was a little kid i was a little fatty man <laughs> to be honest i was a fatty <laughs> Me too. But, but it's okay like, when you're young. Oh you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pass when you're young. So yeah, when I was yep. a, like elementary school, intermediate, man, I was a fatty. And then like high school, you know, I <laughs> I, I started playing football. So that's when I kind of you know got got a little bit more athletic. And then um, but after high school, I wasn't really. I mean, like I went to the gym and stuff, but I wasn't really into it like like how I am now. Mm -hmm. So I mean. I want to say it was around maybe 20, 
2010, 2011 ish and 2012 ish in between there that I really got kind of more serious with it just because um, um, both my mom and dad, they, um, well, my, my dad had heart issues and my mom, she, she had, I guess, I think she had an issue with food, but she also had cancer too. So, sure. you know, overall health thing with them uh, made me realize that I really need to, um, you know, get myself in check because back then I was, when I was working, I was working at the uh, Wildlife Country Club and then I would work <clears throat> late nights. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times me and my coworkers after work, we would go out and, you know, you know, the only thing open during that time is all the, um, the Korean places and zippies, the, the late Denny's, night zippies. Yep. Everything deep fried and oily. Exactly. <laughs> leaky, leaky, um, you know, all Denny's. those places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We would go out drinking and it, it just made me realize like, wow, what am I putting into my body? And, you know, mm -hmm. how am I taking care of myself? Which I really wasn't actually, I would eat so bad and you know all the junk food you can think of and so that that just made me realize that i really need to kind of think about what i'm doing what i'm putting into my body mm -hmm. you know oh wow uh, yeah i respect that a lot i mean I, I know a lot of people like um majority of people who like really go left and then fall in love with it whether they start powerlifting or bodybuilding or do a sport competitively a lot of times it's 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 come from like past not tr not necessarily trauma but like you know like having to overcome health issues and then they just right, became right. so in love and like married to fitness that they <laughs> take it to the extreme you know yeah 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 for sure i definitely know that because once you start seeing progress it's a big oh thing. it's a high man once yeah. you start seeing it you're gonna want more and more and you just keep going and going and mm -hmm. going you know? yeah and if you're gonna be addicted to something might as well be something beneficial to you yeah hell yeah Oh yeah. Yeah. So sure. like, what is your, what is it like? Take me through your average or maybe not, not, maybe not average is the word I should use. Take me to your typical like training regimen. Like, do you, do you have a split? Like what do you plan to do today or tomorrow? Or you kind of just feel it out and then you go into the day like, Oh, let me, let me start with this and then you transition to that. Or do you kind of know what you're doing? And then if you give me an example of like, take me through like a typical workout. I think since, um, since COVID and everything, um, I kind of got thrown off. I really don't have like a specific goal. So I really don't train specifically. So mm -hmm. I just do, um, my typical week is like, uh, I, I do full body, um, pretty much every day. Like I'll, I'll do, um, you know, like one, I'll hit, uh, one exercise per muscle and then, um, and I'll do core and then maybe do maybe cardio like a couple times a week or so. Oh, so it's really, <clears throat> Yeah, it, 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 it's really, it, um, it, it keeps me more engaged in the workout versus mm -hmm. doing like splits, like, um, cause I used to do splits too, right? I used yeah. to do like uh, chest and tries on one For day. the bodybuilding aspect. Yeah, the bodybuilding type aspect of it. And, you know, back and buys, legs one day. Oh, yeah. wow. I would imagine that's very um, tiring and sore, like full body every day. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not yeah, too like bad, said, it's one exercise per body part. But yeah. So does that rotate? Like, for example, like if you're doing shoulders, you do a press today and then tomorrow you switch it up, do some flies just to like activate yeah, it. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So like one day I'll do like a press shoulders and then maybe the next day I'll do like the, um, the side raises and, you know, just mix mm. it up. Yeah. Now, now do you, do you go like top to bottom, like neck the traps to, to your, to your calves or you kind of just, <laughs> um, uh do i oh i haven't really thought about that are you um, kind of just okay i didn't do this yet let me <laughs> what am i missing yeah. oh, okay i didn't do that <laughs> sometimes i'll actually forget and then i'll be like oh shoot i didn't hit you know i didn't hit arms i always neglect my arms though oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now i i kind of i'm trying to make it where um because i'll do a dedicated leg day and then uh now i'm trying to incorporate my arms into leg day so that way i don't forget mm. yeah but technically, every day is like day. If every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not yeah. not a hardcore. But yeah, but yeah, I'll do something with legs. Might so not I, be like a heavy leg, but true, true, true. Just just to some way to engage like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you find like? Do you find that doing full body workouts every day like just kind of stimulate your body differently in terms of like? I'm sure some are kind of hit exercise like a high intensity, and they kind of are also cardio in a sense. So you find like yourself like really fatigued after and like maybe it's like 
not necessarily difficult to get up and work out the next day, but just like like oh okay, let me let me try something. <laughs> let me try something else. That was kind of extreme, or vice versa. Um, like no, I actually feel pretty good, and I think even though even if I go hard on one day, I think I'm I'm pretty good the next day too, because it's not like I'm doing um, everything heavy. So maybe mm -hmm. like I'll do like a so for example, um, like usually Mondays I'll do like a heavy i'll try to do like a heavy chest and a heavy um uh like a deadlift and then mm -hmm. the other things i'll do kind of more light yeah yeah more lightweight stuff yeah oh cool so in your perspective like what is the what are you what have you noticed that, like are the major differences in terms of whether how you look or how you feel or how you perform with the way you used to work out where things were like more focused on bodybuilding in terms of now when you just kind of just taking care of everything, a lot of plyometrics, a lot of calisthenics. Like what, what do you feel the differences physically that you are like are noticeable? Um, I feel like, I feel like my body's, uh, how do I explain it? Mm, I, I definitely feel more, um, a little bit more athletic maybe. And um, because I'm engaging everything like every day, um, it's just, I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like energy wise might be a little better. Hmm. Now, do you always work out like around the same time, like morning or evening sometimes? Yeah. Usually um, in the early afternoon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I want to, I want to stop specifically about your workouts because like I see <laughs> your posts every day and mm -hmm. every day I'm like, what? <laughs> like, so first of all, like, first of all, do you, before I ask about specific things I've seen, like, do you, I don't know. I, I don't know if you make these up, but like, where do you get these from? Do you see them and you just try them, or like, they're, they're um, things that you've been taught, or like you just create your own kind of workouts? Bro, I've seen you do them, like push-ups, two hands holding a kettlebell, and then your feet are on the other kettlebell, <laughs> like just oh balancing, yeah yeah yeah, out, like stuff like yeah, that. that you was know what fun. I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of them I do see from people I follow, mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll get inspiration from them. Um, sometimes I might think of something and, and try to, uh, you know, make up something myself, but for the most part, it's, it's things I see. And then mm -hmm. sometimes it's, uh, I'll, I'll try to, I'll make something up and see if I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I seen like your garage is like stacked with equipment. Like, Oh, like, that's, that's everything. actually not, that's not actually not my garage. Oh, it's, okay. uh, do you know Jordan, Jordan Ng from yeah, the yeah, gym? Yeah. 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 That's his place oh okay yeah I, mean, I was gonna say like wow you got everything like you can yeah it makes sense you can try and <laughs> oh i wish do man. any kind i wish i live in a townhouse so i don't have a garage oh i see i see um, <laughs> so like what what's one exercise or like workout routine that you that you tried that you would say like was the most challenging where you kind of you felt good about it where you like you reap some good benefits from it and it, it just engaged that muscle specifically in the way that you wanted it to but at first you were like i don't know how this is gonna work like what am i doing oh um i think off the top of my head i would have to say uh like the plyo superman push-ups the one that looks like you know you're flying in the air uh -huh. <laughs> you push up yeah that uh, oh that i see definitely is that when you just was... literally like shove yourself off the ground yep. superman and, yep. like and yeah arms up legs out um when i first saw that um i think i saw kendu remember kendu from the gym Oh, if I, see I don't remember probably. Kendu. He he was he was a beast, man. Like he would do those, and he would be like doing crazy stuff. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, by the way, Kendu Kendu was actually one of my biggest inspirations too. He used to work at the oh, gym, yeah. but I would see him doing that kind of stuff, and I'm like, man, I, I want to do I want to do stuff like Kendu. Yeah, and doing all those things like bam, bam, bam. Like oh man, that's crazy. Like some American ninja <laughs> kind of like American. Yeah, Gladiator man, kind of that's stuff. so cool. And and then eventually like I, I tried to do it and and i wasn't good at it at first of course but then i kept doing it and doing it and then i got to a, a point where it, it's just like it's just natural now <laughs> yeah you yeah. ever get people like hitting you up like to like take them through routines or like oh, what can i do to like switch it up you know just muscle confusion wise and just i see you do a lot of unorthodox stuff you ever get people like ask you or like just explain Actually, stuff and you show and demonstrate um no not since i left the gym Mm. But, but when I was working at the gym, um, people, uh, I would get people coming up to me and, and, and asking me stuff about what I do because they would see it on the TV yeah, yeah. at the gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
like hey you're I, the guy from the video i'm like yeah what video are you talking about <laughs> but then be, like, yeah like sitting doing cabs and then watching your video like i'm not doing enough <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah so yeah people would come up to me and ask me about it and some some people would ask me about like how how i do it or um mm. so like yeah i'll tell them you know it's progressions yeah so you would say like currently you don't have a specific goal in terms of like in terms of like maybe body appearance or body performance you're just kind of upkeeping and maintaining yeah just pretty much maintaining and no goals right now I, it, it's kind of hard though when when you don't have a specific goal to mm. like to 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 kind of structure your workouts because you're just like oh what am i going to do today yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so i feel like that's actually even harder than having a specific goal you know because it's like you like for some like people always ask me like oh are you going to train like are you going to like have an amateur fight are you going to do a show are you going to powerlift competition or like dude I just want to look good without my shirt on <laughs> and be able to defend myself if someone tries to steal my wallet. You know what I'm saying? You like, could do all of those things. Exactly. You could do all of those things, man. For sure. You can you could look the way you look right now. You can do a show. You can do a fight. You can do a powerlifting meet. The, and it's just I, I do all of it because like yeah i love to eat <laughs> oh yeah man yeah every time that's that's always like that always like um whenever i explain that to people and then whenever they ask they're just like oh, what are you like what are you training for and i'm like in my head i'm just like i just want to you know like maintain because like um and then like they're, they're always expecting like oh i have an amateur like like mma or kickboxing fight or i'm gonna do a powerlifting show or something like that. i'm just like no i'm just I don't want to be at home and I don't want to go spend money. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Just trying to stay sane during this time. Yeah, bro. exactly. Bro, if I didn't <laughs> if I didn't have all the things that I did at, at home <clears throat> during like COVID and lockdown last year, yeah. I might have just lost my mind. And yeah, it, me like, too, it's, man. Same. It's so funny because like when you I mean, okay, I'm I'm blessed to say like I have a lot I have a good amount of stuff. Like I would say I have more than average person which i'm very fortunate and blessed to say because like a lot of that is like og equipment from my uncles and my dad them from the 80s and yeah throughout the years i've added to it myself buying different equipment but like yeah i would say i have more than the average person but still yet yeah, you know you don't have the full like you don't have the full like equipment of a actual gym okay. so like during during covid i kind of felt like you i was forced to like get creative if i wanted to like <laughs> stimulate my brain and not be bored or if i wanted yep. to like try different um like hit this different muscle because i'm not feeling it just doing 100 reps with the same weight like so yeah. like I, I found myself like doing dips i put chairs together we have stairs going up to like a yard i was holding dumbbells i was like tiptoeing upstairs for, like, oh dang oh yeah any kind bro <laughs> <laughs> i sometimes i'd go on your page and i'm like okay i don't have that but <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dude, that's creative though that the one with the steps hell yeah yeah, but no, it's it's like a it's like maybe like maybe like 20, 20 steps from like our patio area to like our yard. And it, they're pretty steep too. They're not like long spread out steps. They're like right there. Yeah. Like it's literally oh, like almost a vertical. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna hold dumbbells. I literally walked up and down like 10 times and I was dead. Like oh, that's <laughs> I was like, dope. Yeah, I felt like I was doing pharma walks mixed with stairmaster. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. We have a heavy bag too, right? At your place. Yeah, so yeah I, I, that's dope uh, i wish i could set up a heavy bag here man i would love to hit the bag up. yeah i mean especially too because like i get i get if you know i'll do it when i when i want to and i feel like it when i have to but like i get bored running and then yeah. like at the time at the time there's literally two parks really close to my house but like going out was was still prohibited you know yeah, yeah. Out and, about. and then so i was like oh, i can't go play ball i can't go shoot around <clears throat> so Man, I went to town on that bag every day and we bought like tie pads and focus mitts. Me and my sister and my cousin never come over and we just, you know, keep the cardio entertaining and not stale and not boring. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. I would watch your stuff too during during lockdown. I'm like, man, I wish I had a heavy bag or I wish I had somebody to hold mitts or something. No, because not only is it cardio, but like you have the, I don't know what the term is, like, like when you use effort and like power to like push through, you're kind of working the muscle. Yeah. And also just force. like going insane at home, just blasting something like <laughs> really yeah. Soon. yeah man you know, <laughs> i would say i would say like the bench and squat and then the bag was like <clears throat> that kept my sanity for like march to whenever it, the, the go-to's yeah <laughs> no for real so like yeah i would be i'd be like 
dude, I, I would like hold, I'd prop my feet up on the bench. I would like have the dumbbells vertically, open my palms up and like elevate my feet, do like extra push-ups, but like do those kind of push-ups for like extra leverage. Depth and, yeah, just yeah. making up any kind. Cause like, I also didn't have like, I have plates for days, but in terms of like dumbbells, I don't have a big selection. I got like three different weights. Oh, I don't have kettlebells. Yeah. So I was like, I, was, I found myself doing like, five sets 50 reps or something like, I was wow. like oh. yeah this is like i mean not that's a little <laughs> bit of exaggeration but you know what i mean like I yeah like, yeah 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 so even though like the gym opened back up i've been like steady on offer up trying to just like if i can find this and just slowly add to the home gym so it's nice. coming along it's coming yeah, along nothing I, like where you work out <laughs> no. but, yeah I, i'm so glad that uh jordan allowed me to to use his place so mm-hmm. Super, super fortunate. You know, one video that I see, you've posted a couple of these that I really respect, but you do it differently. I guess it's like the Olympic, the um, Olympic, the gymnastic rings. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I find it super like, I respect people who can like prop themselves up, do like a windshield wiper, rotate, con- uh, like control themselves 360 and then do a pull up, do a dip, back down. But then like, I've seen you do it. You just have the ring, right? There's no actual like, any band uh, or anything suspending it you're just like holding on to it doing push-ups or like on the yeah yeah on the ground yeah yeah, yeah. i have like, a few of those yeah i did yeah. A, i did a few of those videos those man the rings are hard dude it, it's not seriously much like to... it yeah it's like you need you need uh like wrist control wrist strength and it's it when you look at somebody doing it in a video I'm like yeah. oh that doesn't look too hard i'm gonna do it no no <laughs> no I don't ever think <laughs> it's, it's a different story, man. You, when I grab the rings, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, oh man, it's hard to even just hold myself up in a like a push up position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it's tough. You know what I like about your approach is like you, you do core every day, and then yeah, I love like core. the ones, the ones that really <laughs> intrigue me are like, you know, you have those dip bars, and then you do the things where you like you hold your legs out, pull them back oh. in yeah 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 like a l sit and then yes, yeah yeah to a push up and yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. are crazy because i feel like that's that's so much like not so much on your joints but like that's a lot of arm strength as well as like lower chest and core just that's to, like that's hold like your, everything hold, hold your core right there but then your legs yeah. and all the weight of your legs and arms are like yeah. spread out so you what i mean looking at it you don't think about it but it you actually like you're engaging like not only your core, but your arm, your shoulders, your your wrists, and mm. then even your quads too. You got to keep your quads engaged. Mm. So pretty much almost everything. What's your diet like? Like, are you um? Do you fast or like? Are you? Do you like um, have a specific <laughs> diet? Um, just, I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay you focused read it after. And then you just make sure you burn it. <laughs> you read no, it. no. <laughs> All right, that's an extra L sit for t- <laughs> that's like 50 extra L sits right there. No. <laughs> two minutes each. Um, <laughs> um, I don't have a specific diet. I, I more so kind of intuitively eat. Um, but the holidays came along, <laughs> and then you know, after <laughs> since thank I swear, since Thanksgiving, I've just been eating so much sweets and so much desserts. So, like oh, when yeah. the new year hit, like after the holidays was over, after Christmas mm-hmm. and the new year. I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta cut back on all my sweets because me, I love sweets, yeah. Oh yeah, and me I too. Eat sweets like all day, every day. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Never mind, scratch so, my diet question. Just forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so when the new year hit, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta reset and you know just cut back on my sweets. Just watch what I'm intaking, and so that's what I've been doing lately since January mm-hmm. is kind of just more so just watching my sweets, uh, make sure I'm not eating junks all the time. So I'm kind of mm-hmm. more back on track as in terms of intuitively eating so you would say i mean the way i the way i term it is like <clears throat> for people who share that kind of same like approach as me it's not necessarily a diet like you have rules more so mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's not like I, i'm gonna eat anything all the time every right, day right, right. you just know like what to stay away from when maybe you can treat yourself vice versa yeah exactly yeah okay. so like yesterday i've been craving donuts right because i haven't had donuts in forever so i went out and, and bought some donuts Have you? and that's okay you know <laughs> that's okay because you know I, I i don't eat that kind of stuff all the time so mm-hmm. yeah 
Have you tried that? Um, I mean, it's not. I don't. I think it was a seasonal thing, but they don't. They don't have it anymore. But it was like that KFC chicken sandwich. It was like a chicken breast, I believe, or thigh, boneless, but two glazed donuts were the buns. Oh, I heard you about that. that. I haven't tried it though. No, Same. I haven't tried it. I missed that window. I was like, how did I not try that? Oh, they don't have it anymore. No, I think it was they like don't? a. Yeah, like a temporary seasonal thing. I hope they bring it back. Shoot, oh. Chicken and donuts? Sign me up, dude. That's, that's <laughs> so interesting. Right? Oh, man. I kind of want it now. Have you ever been Damn. to um, Chick-fil-A? Like in the no, mainland? I haven't. Bro. That's one place I've never been on the mainland. If you ever go to Chick-fil-A, what I do is I get the chicken set. Like, I'm putting you up on game here. Like, just forget all your diet stuff. Like, and you're working, like <laughs> when you go to Chick-fil-A. So just get the, you get any chicken sandwich you want. And then you order waffle fries. You uh-huh. disregard the bun and you use the fries as the buns. Oh no way! Just whatever sauce dope. you want, whatever sauce you want, bro. <laughs> oh man, why you gotta dude. do that to me right now, man? Dude, <laughs> that sounds so. Good. I think we're supposed to be opening one here. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's I heard. What I heard. But then I, but then again, I heard that like eight years ago or something. I heard that too. It's, I think it's supposed to be where in Kapolei, maybe. I'm not too that's sure. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I thought yeah. the Olive Garden was gonna be over there too. Oh, that would have been dope. Yeah, right. It should open when in Kapolei. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to drive into town. Yeah. Hey, so you know when you, you know how we all had our like fatty kids stage? Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's not a weird question, like how long was that stage until you transitioned to like when you had that realization, like, okay, I got to do things that benefit my health. I'm thinking about long term. You know, I don't know if these health problems my parents have are hereditary. You just wanted to avoid any, any kind of health issues and become healthier when did you make that switch like was it middle school high school and like how did you start um um, well let's see no i think that was more so like adulthood already Um, oh yeah he was a fatty all the way through high school uh no not actually (laughs) (laughs) because like playing football helped and running track so yeah that that helped oh you play football Uh, yeah oh cool cool what position are you (laughs) uh slot back Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So it started. Did you play football at, too? No, I see. That's the thing. It was like, I went, I live in Pro City and then I went to Roosevelt. <clears throat> so oh. like, I was out of district. So, like, all the things I wanted to do football, basketball, judo for high school, like, it was just an inconvenience, small kind, just to like wait late at night for practices, even on the oh. weekends, drive back and forth. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah. I, I understand at the time, you know, perhaps my parents were willing to do that, you know, with their busy lives as well and the gas and everything. So, Looking back now, I mean, I wish I, I really wish I did, but looking back now, I, I, I get it, so it's cool. But, yeah. Oh man. So yeah. Anyway, sorry. No, no. Your adulthood, you said, is when it started. Uh yeah. So um. After high school. I, I yeah. So like I I know I mentioned uh because my dad had heart problems um after he had his uh he had a first uh his first heart attack was a I don't want to say a minor one no no heart attack is really minor but it was mm-hmm. it was more so kind of a minor one. Um, that kind of made me open my eyes and realize like what, you know, how I was living and what I was eating and putting into my body and how, how I was taking care of myself. How old like, were you really, at the time? Do you remember? Um, God, yeah. How old was I? I think I might've been what late twenties, early thirties ish mm-hmm. around there. Yeah. Oh, so this was like a year ago. You don't seem that old. Dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. That's like, <laughs> man, that's a long time ago. <laughs> over, a little over 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then my mom had, um, my mom had, she, she had an issue with food, I think, man. Mm. Uh, she, she would love, she loved to eat too. She was a, mm-hmm. she was a little, she was a chubby lady, I always say. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, she, she would eat like any kind stuff and like, all kind like she she loved desserts like me i think that's where i get oh, it yeah, yeah. and um uh, eventually she got diagnosed with cancer so that that no, really sorry. yeah no, no no it's all good, okay. it's all good. uh she had stomach cancer stomach cancer yeah mm. so yeah for my parents that really opened really opened my eyes and really made me realize how i was taking care of myself really needed to change so that's when i got serious about it oh that's awesome and I'm sure, like in turn, like you wanted to help them as well. So, like, did you if, like? Yeah, if, I mean, I daily and stuff. I really, I mean, if I could have back then, um, you know, knowing what I know now, mm-hmm. um, I definitely would have been a better help to them. Um, you know, all around. Um, I think just I, I didn't, I didn't <clears> realize, you know, what kind of, 
you know, how, how their health really, really impacted them. Um, and I think back then I, I, I didn't really uh, take myself to actually, you know, maybe research what, what really ailed them mm -hmm. and, and maybe, you know, uh, educating myself to see how I can help them a little bit more. Uh, now looking back at it, I really wish I did, but mm. um, I, I, I would have if I could have, you know, helped them out a lot more, knowing what I know now. Right. Yeah. Did you did you go to school or everything regarding like, like taking care of yourself, exercise wise, nutrition? That's all kind of just throughout the years picked up knowledge from here and there. Uh, I no, I didn't actually. So I actually graduated with uh, in uh, business marketing. Mm -hmm. But then like the, all the health and, uh, health and wellness and stuff, I kind of just picked up, um, following a, a lot of, you know, you know, good accounts on in Instagram and, um, yeah. and just, you know, I had, I had that motivation to be a, a trainer. So I, I went in and got my, uh, uh, what's that called certification and that's how I went with it. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. I, people like don't really take full advantage of like this is the information era we live in like if you want to know or find out how to do anything a kid and a cell phone could figure that out like oh yeah like there's it's all in the palm of their hands yeah you'd be surprised how much i've learned from google and youtube yeah like, in, sure. in terms yeah. if we're sticking to that specific topic like there's there's a bunch of i guess like bodybuilders or power lifters or fitness um just you know like figures public figures and even like with like martial artists or former fighters etc like mm -hmm. that i follow and then i catch myself really like whatever like intriguing me or like really like makes me go hmm, you know like i really end up trying it and then a lot of times yeah it works for me and then i implement it in my own stuff and like yeah like i got that from the internet like legit like oh bro how did you figure like you know how did you <laughs> How did you how did you make that program or like how did you do this or like i watched the youtube video and i came here and i tried it like that's really it and then you just make it work for you you know yeah 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 there's definitely um i want to say since we're on that topic too um um you know there's good accounts to follow and you know the not so good accounts to follow. oh for sure yeah, yeah. um you know you know there's like the bro science and there's actual science <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so yeah I wanna, source trust for, me bro yeah exactly <laughs> so you know for anybody watching i want to you know push you guys to to follow the actual science yeah. and you know science-based education mm -hmm. that's out there yeah not just oh yeah uh, bros. yeah no yeah because like for the longest time i don't i wouldn't consider it necessarily bro science but there's that notion like it's so bad to eat carbs like for dinner mm -hmm. or like after yeah. a certain 6 p.m 7 p.m <laughs> exactly but i feel like yeah. you know like if your diet's on point and you you had like previously banged out a insane workout and you went to the next day and granted portions and everything it's not bad i feel like oh yeah it kind of yeah. no, sure. starts refueling your body that you just put through the trauma of the workout so that you can rest well recover and then in, in conjunction with like protein and then you know do it again the yeah next for day. sure 100 100 percent. yeah because before yeah, dude yeah. i was like I, I there was a time where like i cut out rice oh okay. like in 20 2015 i i just cut out rice at first i tried to go brown rice and it mm. would be pointless because i would just load my plate with brown rice I'm like, I'm oh yeah, yeah. Rice. yeah. <laughs> like, brown rice what do you mean show you and rice <laughs> so, show like, you rice <laughs> yeah you mean sh show you on top of the white <laughs> no but so like yeah like after i was like okay wait I have like no discipline whatsoever. So I had to go cold turkey. So I just cut rice out completely. And oh, then like okay. immediately along with con like, you know, consistent exercise. Yeah. I dropped a lot of weight because after high school, I got really fat immediately. Because, you know, you have a license, you have a car, you have money, you have a oh, job. Yeah. All you do is eat and go out. Freedom. <clears throat> All you do is work. Yeah. So like <laughs> immediately after high school, I had this window where like I got fat. And then, um, and then, yeah, like, that was the first step to me, like, like getting back into like working out religiously and taking care of my body was I cut the rice. I cut a lot of things like the soda, candy, ice cream, mm -hmm. but it was the carbs for me. It was like yeah. the rice because granite carbs are good for you. I have no discipline. I just, I load it. It rice with yeah. everything, every uh, meal, every day, you know, uh -huh. it's hard to, you know, being Asian, being Filipino, living in Hawaii is like, how yeah. do you not? 
and yeah, then because that's such a staple living here exactly you know? yeah. exactly and then recently i want to say actually maybe late last year if not early this year i started because i feel like i got to a point where i told myself if i really stop and think about it i can go back to eating like i work out so much i can go back to eating rice and i'll be okay i just gotta make sure it's you know i watch my portions you know don't go crazy with it because yeah, it's yeah. kind of i felt kind of stupid because i would have this no rice like couple like oh. there's no rice but i'm i I, I work, I eat tater tots and fries and baked potatoes and mashed potatoes. I'm like, bro, it's the same thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> in my mind, it's just rice is bad. But I was eating like pho and pancit and noodles. Oh, <laughs> like, it's so oh pancit. Dude, rice is, that's even worse because it's like, you don't know how many grains of rice are packed into one noodle. So I was like, so I feel like I hit a point like last, late last year, early, early this year, where I started like allowing it back into my diet. But I would just really, it's, oh. it's really controlled. It's really moderate maybe like yeah. a couple times a week yeah preferably in the morning like breakfast lunch so i can burn it off for the day yeah. and oh, I, so haven't, you... I, I didn't get like fat right away like i thought i was going to if i put rice back in my body so I was like, oh you know it's a, a mental thing like wow so you yeah. cut out rice for that long a period Bro, since 2015 years. wow 2015 to like maybe just yeah recently. ending of 2020 around the oh. december and november wow because it got to a point where like Maybe, maybe even like in 2016, I already took myself to that place physically where, okay, like I'm, I'm better now. I like my body now. I like how I feel. I like how I perform. I like how I look. Yeah. I can probably go back to eating rice, but I was just so used to not eating rice. Oh. It was, it was already like, oh, whatever. Because I was just so used to like not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you already you, bro, put it like, out and then it was just like a like a routine almost just like not having yeah, rice exactly yeah. so i'm telling you bro like in the morning your typical breakfast is like eggs sausage no rice people oh. look at me like what the heck poke bowl i eat all the sashimi i don't touch the rice curry house i eat all the curry i don't touch the rice people are like oh you're crazy i'm like i don't know dude <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah i guess it was it worked so well for me in the beginning like i, I really yeah. dropped a lot of weight in conjunction with con constant exercise just cutting yeah. out the carbs and then, yeah, I just like, man, not that I felt like my muscles felt flat or deflated or I wasn't energized. I was like, I could honestly put the carbs back in my body because I eat bread, I eat noodles. It's the uh -huh. same thing. I just got to, yeah, yeah. I just got to, you know, portion it and mind my, like, yeah, just don't go crazy. Have control kind of. Right, right. Instead portion of just oh, put it back. Yeah. Yeah. Portion control. In terms of the sugar yeah. stuff, that, that I still try to, that's also, I'm like a walking contradiction with that because like. I, I'm so good at not drinking soda, not eating ice cream, not barely eating candy, stuff like that. No cupcakes, but I love cookies and I love boba and I love tea, like sweet tea, <laughs> green tea. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cookies. Oh yeah. I love cookies. Cookies is my, <laughs> I, I would, I would break and cheat any of that for cookies. Right? Cookies is my <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> okay wait let me ask you this do you like soft cookies or do you like crunchy cookies i don't discriminate bro i love cookies anything <laughs> <laughs> just cookies <laughs> yeah i'm talking about like snickerdoodle chocolate chip oh, s'mores with the marshmallow in the center oh like, yep yep my, it's my, nice and warm and chewy and you have milk it's a wrap oh wrap. yeah hell yeah for it's a wrap <laughs> dude my, my cousin's girlfriend she made she makes these like she makes a bunch of cookies so shout out to Tiffany. She makes like ube cookies. Um, oh. Dude, she even made like these, I believe they're chocolate chip cookies, but in the center, it had that Andy's mint candy. So like when it was oh, baked, real? it was like mushy. Dude, so when you bite it, wow. like, there's a kick of mint in your mouth. Like, oh. oh, man. Be like, Does no, she sell gonna... them? She should. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell her open up her, yeah, her no. own face and start yeah. selling them. See, tomorrow now I'm going to wake up and have cookies for breakfast and then just go ham on, on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, cookies for breakfast. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, yeah, I like, oh, you know, I could put a couple Oreos in my protein shake and I blend it just for the flavor. Like, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. You know, it won't hurt. <laughs> hey, man, I want to talk to you about your your clothing brand, your your line P3. Oh, yeah, so you're, yeah. What you're wearing right now, which I'm glad you're wearing. So, <laughs> so it's, what is it? It's passion, perseverance, and positivity Posit yep yeah so like i've so, seen before i met you i would see your shirts everywhere in the gym i was oh, supposed cool. to pick one, i was <laughs> supposed to pick one up and I'm, I'm still going to but just like let everybody know because I, I i totally love the idea i love what it stands for 
Thank I love like the catchiness, everything. Like, where did that idea come from? And then like, you know, like how does it apply to you personally? Like why, why P3? Um, so I always wanted to start my own brand. And one day I just started uh, brainstorming and I grabbed them, my notebook and I just started uh, writing down ideas and um, I would write down like, I had, I had to think to myself, what, what is my brand going to be about? You know, like what, mm-hmm. what what's going to, what's going to motivate it? What, what is the core of it? And so I just started writing down all these different words and, you know, um, things that, that uh, I guess like my parents would, um, you know, kind of pass down to me, like values mm-hmm. that my parents, parents passed down to me. And then, um, so I picked out passion, positivity, and perseverance. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, they all start with P. So I was like, P, there's three of them. PQ? Three P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, PQ. That sounds kind of interesting. I like that one, actually. <laughs> um, I, I thought three P. Nah, that sounds kind of like C3PO. So I was mm-hmm. like, no. Nah, CP3. P3. <laughs> and then uh, I, I switched it. I was like, P3. P3. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. What, what, what am I going to uh, attach to it? Like, I didn't want to use the word fitness because it's so overused in in the mm-hmm. you know in the apparel industry um so i was like oh what what, what other word can i use that kind of more encompasses pretty much you know fitness and you know anything mm. um so i was like athletics athletics kind of encompasses more you know more so a broader a broader sense so I was like p through athletics and mm. that's i was like oh okay that sounds pretty good i like that so i, yeah. I went with that yeah no i i like it a lot because like you said, like the they're regardless of what type of athletics you're into. Yeah, exactly. They it's applicable, you know, like whether mm-hmm. you're a powerlifter, bodybuilder, yep. martial artist, specific sport, calisthenics, whatever. Like anything. Regardless of what you need to do or what your lane is, you need those three to like be successful in whatever field you're in. And then yeah. it also applies just in life in general, you know? Yeah, exactly. Because like because you know like positivity perseverance and um sorry passion like a passion yeah like that's those are like just simple keys to like anything to like accomplishing yeah. anything mm-hmm. especially for those 100%. people who, yeah especially for those people who are who are athletes and who are into the world of fitness regardless of what lane they're in like you're not going to be successful without those three or yeah. you, get, you only get to a certain level without those three, you know? Yeah, exactly. You nailed it for sure. Because I was like, you know, passion, you need, you need passion to, to, to motivate you and, you mm-hmm. know, to drive you. Um, positivity, you know, positivity is so important. And I never realized that. And my mom always, uh, you know, taught me to, to be positive. And she was always positive no matter what. Even, even with her bout, bout through cancer and all up until the day she passed away, she was always positive always positive and you know um persevere you know persevere through anything that you're going through whether it be you know on the field on the court Mm -hmm. in life you know yeah in the gym in the classroom anything exactly 100 percent. i love that man do you have any um because i know you're like yakuza inked up do you have any (laughs) you have any like ink on you that's like um related to like your brand and like those those like three key words that are like almost like vital to like your everyday oh yeah actually i do um i was just curious i I just assumed you probably did (laughs) i don't know if you can see it it's on my knee it says pma pma Uh stands for um positive mental attitude nice yeah right there yeah, I saw that in your bio, and I wasn't okay. sure what it, what PMA was. I I googled it. Oh. I got a bunch of things that I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not what he means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it stands for positive mental attitude. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, I, I just figured. I was like, I just figured. I like that. <laughs> thank you. I, thank I'm you. glad. I'm glad you added like um the athletics part to not confuse it with like, I think there's a snack like P3 protein. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The P3 like, protein pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm glad like. I'm glad you have that distinction to like people know like, oh, this is Rick's brand. Also, <laughs> also if people look it up, it's attached. To, it might be in the same results as P3 protein. So you're up, you're up there. <laughs> probably, probably. There's actually some other like um, 
P3 athletics, um, like organizations and, and like brands out there, like mm -hmm. in other countries. You got it copyrighted and everything? Trademark? No, not yet. Not yet. I, I was, I was thinking about doing that. Mm. But yeah, you should, yet. man. Full on site and everything. Yeah. I'll model yeah. for you. This way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What do you call that? Um, so like you're like, uh, what I also love about your brand is like not only like what it stands for and like what it was built on, but like your designs are so like they're simple in a good way. Like they're just the message is sent across and that's it. And it looks it looks clean. It looks dope. Like do do you create all these yourself or like you have like you partner with somebody and like they draw it up and you kind of green light um, it? So this is the um this is the the main logo. Mm -hmm. Um I had um uh, I had a graphic designer uh do it up. Uh, her name is Carrie Kubota. She goes under um, our garden collective on Instagram, but she's really talented. And um, she, she worked with me on the logo and, and that, that's mm. what we came up with together. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. No. And I like your colorways too. Like they're, they pop, you know what I mean? Like I've seen like the oh, highlighter okay. yellow and I've seen purple with orange. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like they're, they're definitely like gym clothes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure and the material too like i always you know because i i want to i want people to work out in them I, you know m me and myself i work out in them Drastic, too so right? i want it to be yeah i want uh, i want it to be you know really comfortable lightweight that you can wear it in the gym or just wherever did you did you also like branch out besides shirts like you made beanies or like jackets or anything beanies was the next thing i wanted to do um i had I had some hoodies. I don't think I have any more. I think I might have like one left. I'm gonna need a shirt uh, soon. So I can oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I got yeah, you. Yeah. I got you. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else did I get? Yeah, I did long sleeve hoodies, and then I have tank tops. Um, but yeah, mostly the shirts. I seen it the most with Pomai. <clears throat> you remember Pomai from the gym? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was I, like, one weird. of my biggest it's, supporters. It's weird calling him Pomai because I, like, yeah, I call him like. Cause his name's Suavecito. Oh, I call him Cito. Oh yeah, that's your cousin, right? Oh, like we we're just, we're just like really close. It's like pretty much oh. family, you know. Like yeah, yeah, he yeah. like we kind of grew up together, like after high school, and he lives oh, literally dope. like. Oh, he used to live like five houses down before he moved in with his wife. Oh wow! And, yeah, that's dope. yeah. So like, we started our um, cause when when we got close it was like after high school, and he was literally at my house every day. Oh, working out using at using my stuff yeah like even unannounced oh, i'd be like watching tv like in my boxers and i just hear like a knock on the door like, what are you doing here he's like i walk in. <laughs> what do you want i want to work out all right go ahead <laughs> and, so, you know, and so like we started and then eventually it was like you know there's only so much we can do here at, your, at, at home so yeah in terms of like you know machines and like the weight that we have and stuff so it's like we signed up to pretty much together around the same time, me a little bit before him at UFC back in like, I think it was like November, December, 2015. And then all of a sudden I just started seeing him wear P3 clothes like every day. And then I was really <laughs> noticing, I was like, okay, wait, this is, a, this is a brand. Like, and then I started seeing a bunch of other people I know and didn't know where I was like, huh, like where did this come from? And then I seen you wear it and I was like, oh wait. And then that's when, the, you know, that's when the, we made the connection. I was like, oh dude, this is dope. Yeah, man. Paul might pretty much bought like, everything i had <laughs> almost oh, cool, cool. yeah <laughs> yeah man he's one of my biggest supporters so if you don't mind me asking bro like because i didn't even realize it until i mean I, I did realize it but i didn't it wasn't confirmed until we started talking like so you left ufc yep yeah um when the shutdown happened um they they furloughed everybody uh -huh. or you know kind of like laid everybody off mm -hmm. and um yeah, I, I just I, I took that as a as a sign, I guess, to mm. to uh you know Go venture off and yeah, venture off and try to find something else. So what are you up to now? Um just trying to trying to find something else still, man. Oh, I see. <laughs> it, it's tough. I I I try to, I job search like every day and <clears> try <throat> to try to look for what's out there. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like an idea or like something you're passionate about? I I would assume it's kind of related to like the world of fitness <laughs> in some um, sense or maybe like related to your degree or something uh yeah i'm trying to i i try to find like marketing stuff but um when it comes to like marketing specific jobs it, it's it's pretty tough like they they want you to have um 
like some kind of like graphic design experience or like some mm. kind of like you know design experience you know making up um using utilizing like photoshop or like illustrator and stuff like that like that's yeah. like that's the part of of marketing that i didn't learn like the, the design part of it so um when i come across marketing specific jobs like that then it's and i look through the requirements i'm like mm -hmm. oh man i don't have that <laughs> so, uh, try to yeah. try to look for other things but and plus too like the times we're in like you know things are different you know like we're all shift they're like we're all pivoting and adjusting and like the yeah, world's different yeah. every day so like you know especially like with jobs and people getting laid off and stuff so i, I mean I, I pray for you man i hope for the best and like i, I believe like you end up where you're supposed to be in time thank you thank you appreciate yeah. it before i let you go bro i just want to say first of all again thank you for doing this taking the time out of your day to talk to me and just give me three things that i can try weird unorthodox <laughs> <laughs> things that i can Weird. try whether like it's at the gym or here at my house like, <laughs> or whatever just, um i'm gonna see. give it a shot and if i if i feel <laughs> like it's if i feel like it's like okay enough i'll, I'll record it i'll let you i'll let you see before <laughs> i post it or something okay okay uh let's see uh have you tried have you tried your um have you tried doing like plyo push-ups plyo push-ups meaning yeah uh just kind of more explosive uh getting yourself off the off the ground i have not i mean i can do claps so i i, I would imagine claps. i'd probably okay to, yeah okay so the claps is good um try i would say next thing either try extending your arms out forward when you're um when you push yourself off mm -hmm. or or um out to the side okay try that for a, a a progression okay how that goes because you you can already do the clap yeah yeah so yeah. that that's pretty easy for you so yeah try try extend your arms out or to the side Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so i mean one i thing feel you... like i can do it i'm just gonna yeah 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 yeah, yeah if um, i smash my face on the ground <laughs> i'll tell the doctor rick sent me <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie though like some, sometimes when i'm doing stuff i'm like Oh shit, man! I think I'm gonna face plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I definitely, I definitely do screw up, and and I've been, I've been posting some of my fail videos lately. So. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> you know what um, I think is crazy that you do. They're like they're like unconventional pistol squats because like there's no chair behind you and like you hold the position at the bottom and you're holding two dumbbells. Oh you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was just yeah. watching one of those videos of, of yours. I think today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, those can, seem crazy. Yeah, you can do one of those. It's all quad. I was like, gee, because <laughs> I, I used because like when when like, when the lockdown was like on, I was like doing pistol squats, but I was like, yo, not like that. Like you hold it at the bottom for like ten seconds, and you gradually control it slowly go up. Gee, <laughs> quads must be I on think, fire. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But I think going slowly up, I think that's just because I'm having a hard time <laughs> getting up. <laughs> I'm not going yeah. slow. I'm going slow just because it, just, having, it looks good on camera. So we'll go I'm with trying that. to push myself up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 control. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can try that. Um, since you said you've been doing uh pistol squats during the lockdown. I haven't um, since. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> So um, I was about to go hit a leg press machine and squat like with more 45s I haven't since <laughs> I probably I probably fall right now yeah oh okay uh, you can just shot. yeah yeah just regular pistol squats uh if that gets too easy for you you can do like uh you know hold the hold some dumbbells out mm. and then try it that way that's that's tough though oh I dumbbells. can imagine yeah do you have a preference of working with dumbbells or kettlebells or it's just kind of like depending um, on what you what you're doing Depending on what I'm doing, but I, I think I prefer kettlebells more. Mm. I've been hearing that a lot lately. Yeah, just because they're more, um, they're a different, uh, the, the weight of it is different. Like, it's I not mean, because with, evenly. Yeah, yeah, because the dumbbells, the weight is here, and the kettlebell, the weight is on the bottom. Mm. It's on the bell side, yeah. So you, you can do, like, so much more stuff with that. And it's, it's a little bit more versatile, versatile to me. Yeah, and like... I found myself like like after <clears throat> after I do like a heavy leg day, I obviously am. I mean, I probably can, and I have before, but it's not ideal for me to go and hit like some hard cardio right now. Like, I want to risk like busting my leg or cramping or something. Like, 
I found oh, someone yeah, run yeah. or their master or hit bag or whatever. So I found like doing kettlebell stuff after legs. It's still if it's like if the if the rep range and the rests are like appropriate. But I find myself like having a cardio workout, like whether it's oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. or deads or squats or like yep. farmer walks, even like bro, this is and like it pumps your forearm like crazy just because yeah, like the handle stick and all the weight yep. is in like one spot, bro. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I've been, I've been getting into a lot of more different kettlebell stuff. Yeah, kettlebells are definitely a, a a type of cardio as well, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um. Oh, speaking of kettlebells, um, for the third one, you can do. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so I don't much. Know if I'm gonna so try that. I don't know if I'm gonna try that thing where you were. Yeah, <laughs> um. You if you guys do... know what I'm talking about, he he was in a push-up position with his feet on the handle of one kettlebell and his both hands on the handle of a smaller kettlebell. And he's just holding himself up there and like like compressing his body, like doing abs and then push up. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> um, you can, okay, so get if you get one kettlebell, um, hold yourself in a push-up position. And then uh, what you're going to do is you can move the kettlebell um, forward and back forward and back mm. while you're in that push-up position yeah yeah with, okay. with one arm yeah i'm pretty sure you, that, that that might be too easy for you no i, I mean no i'm gonna try <laughs> it no it's just it's different like i'm not not necessarily give me something ridiculously hard that's gonna like you know it's just something yeah. different, you know just to stimulate shock the muscles because i used to do those yeah. things you know where you dumbbell push-ups and then as you as you come up you lift one side and then back down oh renegade rows yeah 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 that's, that's where I thought you were going with that. Like <laughs> one hand, oh. <laughs> dumbbell, and kettlebell, and you just do rows. I was like, no, it's not. You necessary. can do it with the kettlebells too. They're 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 different. Yeah, you can try them with the kettlebells too. I can. I just feel like I'm gonna bust my wrist because it's like not. <laughs> just, <laughs> it just face plant the floor. <laughs> but yeah, try to renegade rows with the kettlebells, and then you can do that. Um, that's what they call. I didn't know there was a name for them. I just never like yeah. the past two decades of my life. I didn't know. Okay. Those are tough too because you gotta engage your core. It's it's yeah very core oriented. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey Rick, I appreciate you, my brother. I miss you, man. Hopefully, yeah, man. I, I miss can, you. Hopefully we can catch up soon. Uh, hopefully I see you soon. I definitely need to cop a shirt from you. And oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I got, I got you, man. I got you. And, Thank um, you very much for having me. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, Such man. The honor, honor is mine. I'll all your 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 page, P3. All the links, I'll, I'll make sure it's in the bottom so people can go check them out and support you. Great, and, um, thank you. You know, cop a shirt, cop a jacket. So maybe oh, yeah. we'll see some P3 underwear in the future. But I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. For sure. You, you can be my, my test model. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm for it. I'm for it. <laughs> hey, bro. I miss you, man. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, man. I appreciate miss you. you too. Love you, dog. Ladies and gentlemen, right. this has been my homie, Rick. Y'all have a good one. I appreciate you, man. Thank you.